guys so today we have another haul video and uh, this video is from zooplus.co.uk and vetuk.co.uk so the same two websites that we used last time we got quite a lot of stuff we got multiples of a lot of things but we haven't <laughs> taken everything through otherwise it'd take up a lot of space but this a lot a lot of space it was a heavy box to take up a stairs yeah so we just took one of everything through so you can see what we've got and let's get into the haul shall we so starting with zoo plus the first thing we got is the porta 21 grain free food uh i know we're gonna get a million comments now being like you shouldn't feed cats dry food blah blah but <laughs> um we used to feed them on go cat um just like a lot of other people um, when you see adverts of nice healthy cats on the TV and our food is great and recommended by these people and whatever, we just kind of bought into it not realising what went into pet foods. So when we found that the Go Cat was really bad, is this the ingredients side? This is the ingredients bit here. It's just full of a lot of rubbish and I'm sure it only has to do meat and animal derivatives so it's not even fit for human consumption 10% that's it and cats are solely meat eaters so <laughs> it's really not good it's got a lot of rubbish in it as well as a lot of other cat foods so we started researching and um, quite quickly what we could get for them and um, particularly because Scarlet is tricky to get food for as she will not eat wet food of any kind no 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 um except for bits of plain cooked chicken she'll sometimes eat yeah but if it's raw or in jelly or gravy or anything there's no chance um so if we turn this round I think it's this, yeah, this corner here is the ingredients of the grain free port of 21. And the first ingredient is ground poultry meat 64%. So that's a really good start. The second ingredient is then chicken meat 9.1%. So there's 73.1% meat. Did I do my maths right? Yeah, 73.1% meat. Uh, there's then chicken fat, which isn't the best ingredient in the world, but uh, it's better than a lot of other things. Dried potatoes, which is a carb, um, which isn't good for cats, but it's better than grains and it's only 5.1% of the whole thing. So it's not too bad. Um, there's then dried brew brewer's yeast, which is a bit of a red flag. It's not a good thing for cats at all, um, but it is only a small percentage in this. It's not awfully bad. Um, dried sugar beet pulp, sugar removed, cellulose, dried cranberry, which is good for urinary tracts, green tea extract. I think that's good for urinary tracts as well, um, and a few other additives that I don't know how to say. So on the whole this is a really good food. Um, it's up there with things like a pause and in James Well Beloved but a fraction of the price. This is a 10 kilogram bag and it was £29.90 which is really good value considering two kilogram bags of a pause is £25. Yeah, so uh, this is really good value. It's much better for our cats. We've noticed a huge difference in them since they started eating it. Um, particularly their fur, they're so soft. Yep, and Max has stopped being sick. Yeah, Max was being sick a lot on the old food and Daisy started to get sick as well. Uh, it was a little bit of a struggle to get Scarlet to completely come round but it wasn't half as hard as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> no, we tried to put her on whiskers before, before we researched it she would just sniff at it and let it go moly. Yeah, whiskers, wet, 
Um, Wet and dry food. She just yeah. no, no, and no. No, she wouldn't eat it at all. Um, so we were really happy uh, that they all liked this food and warmed to it quite quickly. So let's stop giving a lecture about that. Yeah. The next thing, which is also a pretty new thing for us to start using, is silica cat litter. Um, again, we just kind of bought what we thought was good for cats and we weren't too keen on non-clumping cat litter because it had a funny smell and very dusty and things like that but it was so cheap that we just bought it didn't we yep um we then tried clumping cat litter which you found was much better didn't uh, you? far easier to take out uh if it did clump, which not all bits of it did clump, but the bits that did clump came out quite easily. Oh, that was an interesting thing we found with the clumping cat litter. The pets at home clumping cat litter did not clump. No clumping. But the Tesco value one Which did. was cheaper, obviously. Yeah, did clump. It clumped really well, actually, didn't it? Very well, yes. Yeah. Um. So... The clumping litter was something that we tried and we did more research into cat litter and every time we've seen silica cat litter it's been very expensive we're yeah like, we're not buying that but we didn't realize how silica cat litter actually worked and it actually works out cheaper in the long run mm -hmm. uh one bag of this which is five liters will do one cat litter tree for three to four weeks yep obviously you need to shovel out the poops um but the actual letter doesn't need changed for three to four weeks and this is on special offer at zoo plus just now three bags for seven pounds and 18 pence really yep so that'll do all three of our cats litter trays for seven pounds 18 roughly every month the silica is fine as long as you're in it every day and you're scooping and then you're storing it all in the smell comes down the house we've noticed the smell difference in the house already like and People have commented on it that you don't really get such a catty smell anymore. Yeah, the, the silica really seems to not just absorb the liquid, but it really seems to absorb the odour as well. Which is always good, folks. Yeah, so we've been really impressed with it and I think we're sticking to silica litter now. As long as you do it every day, it's very little work. Similar sort of theme as some chinchilla sand for the girls. Uh, this is from the JR Farm brand, which I think is a Zoo Plus exclusive brand. This was actually quite expensive for how much it is. It's, is it one or two kilograms? It's a one kilogram bag and it was £3.49, which is quite expensive, especially considering you can get kids play sand from <laughs> pound shops. Yeah. So, um... We were just ordering at the time and we knew we needed some so we just got it but in future I don't think we'll be getting it again unless we find this is somehow awesomely amazing. Um, but that's for the hamsters, they should enjoy that. This cat wand sort of thing, it's got cute feathers and sparkly bits on the end. It's just a very cheap and cheerful toy. It was actually 99 pence so can't really go wrong with it. Um, we're trying really hard well, Erin more than me is trying really hard to be really active with the cats and get them playing more, particularly Daisy because she is a bit overweight. Um, and they've got lots of dangly cat toys, you know, on like the elastic string. But they don't have any wandy things like this, so we thought it'd be something nice for them to try. For the hamsters, we got them a bendy bridge because, unbelievably, we do not have one yet. Nope. Um, this is completely unbranded to the point that it had no packaging or stickers or anything <laughs> when it came. So Fiddlesticks Bendy Bridges are around about £3, which is a really silly price, hence why we've never bought one. Mm. Uh, but these ones from Zoo Plus that are unbranded are only £1.49. And something that I noticed, I don't know if the cameras could pick it up, but... Lots of the twigs have different colours, so like these are sort of a green colour and these are sort of reddish and that's a very light wood colour. So they obviously come from quite a few different sources, so hopefully it's like apple twigs and willow twigs and things and the hamsters will enjoy chewing the different kinds. Yeah, you can even see on the bark, the barks look quite different. 
For the guinea pigs we got a treat kebab sort of thing. This is the Trixie fruit holder. <laughs> <laughs> and we got this with our loyalty points actually. Um, Sue Plus you get points for your purchases. I think it's one point for every pound. Is it? That's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, we used our points to get that. I think if you want to buy it it's one ninety nine, but we got it for free. So that's cool. Uh, so that's everything we got from Zoo Plus, and next we will do the Vet UK stuff. First is the Burgess Super Hamster Dwarf Hamster Harvest. This is on special offer right now. We were going to wait a little while to get more hamster food, but because it was on special offer we went for it. Uh, this is £1.87 right now, whereas it's normally £3 in pets at home. So that's quite a saving for us. Uh, this is called Dwarf Hamster Harvest. It should really be called Diabetic Prone Hamster Harvest. <laughs> I don't think that has quite the ring to it. No. <laughs> um, but this food is specially designed for um, hamsters that are diabetes prone because it's very low in sugar. Um, the ingredients list is on the side here. It's mainly just very basic... Um, seeds and things that's in it. There's not anything particularly exciting. It's got mealworms in it that I guess are a bit more exciting but it's very low sugar so it's good for diabetes prone hamsters, hamsters that are overweight or any other health issues that may be a bit of a concern it's really good for. We also mix in some of the regular hamster harvest. This is also £1.87 at the moment. And if we go to the ingredients on this one, the ingredients list is a lot longer, has lots more exciting things like banana flakes and nuts and biscuits seeds. and yes, sunflower seeds, lots of different things that they'll enjoy. And they get half and half of these so they don't get too overweight because they're sort of getting the low fat version over here <laughs> as well as the regular version. We have also got the Supreme Science Selective to try. Uh, a lot of people recommend these. They are a complete food, a bit like a guinea pig or bunny nugget. Um, but particularly if you've got more than one hamster living together, it's hard to tell if they're getting a good balanced diet because one hamster may be eating all the millet for example and the other one might be eating all the sunflower seeds. So they might not be getting a balanced diet. Whereas because this is a complete food, you know that they're at least getting everything that they need. And that was £1.90, which is also a very good price because I think it's about £4.50 at Pets at Home. Is it? Yeah. What weight is this? It's actually a smaller weight than the Burgess. I think it's only 350 grams. Mm, can't really see it on it. But you can see by the size of it. It's good value for money, basically. What yeah, I was trying to get at. Like. It's very good value for money. And it's a it's a particularly a good treat as well. Um, as something different to give them that's quite healthy. And for the cats, we also got toys from Vet UK. And for the cats, we got these scratching post mat <laughs> things um these are the good girl brand and these are on special offer just now at two pounds 77. wow and they come with catnip max when a package arrived max was rubbing his face all over it i mean he could smell it right through the box that's how good it is yeah and the package was covered in tape as well so yeah. it's not like the there was big holes or anything for the smell to get out of. Yep. So this catnip must be quite good and we're really excited about giving these to the cats. Scarlet's not too bad. She has like this horrible stool we have that she <laughs> likes to scratch. It's horrible. Yeah. But we only keep it because she likes to scratch it rather than the furniture. Picture a really old woman-y kind of stool. Yeah, it's horrible. From the 70s. But um Max and Daisy, we have a couple of things, but they're not really keen on scratching them. They prefer to go to the carpet. We, we've put things up before and they'll like sniff at it and then they'll rub their face on it. And that'll be it. Daisy quite often scratches our woodwork, which is kind of annoying. 
Yeah, and Max particularly likes going for the carpet. He likes more of a horizontal surface. So yeah. hopefully this will attract them to scratch that instead. For the hamsters, I got one of the Toys from Trees toys. This is the orange because the majority of their cage is Looks orange. Like a blood orange. Yeah, it's very brightly coloured. This is the small and it is £1.43, which is probably quite expensive really for the size of it. If I put my hand next to it, you can see it's very small and I have small hands, so... What's it made of? It's just wood. It's just edible wood. Uh, I'm sure it's orange flavoured actually. All natural, promotes healthy teeth, pet safe colours and wood, fun and safe to chew toy. Um, it was a little bit more expensive than I'd want to pay for something this small, but it's just so cute. <laughs> and I think we'll get as much enjoyment out of watching them play with this as they will having it as well. Yeah. The last thing that we got are these super cute, jingly, glow in the dark cat balls. Now, these are for the guinea pigs. The cats may get one or two as well because there's two green and two yellow. These are just so cool. They're glow in the dark. They look like glow in the dark poker balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say they look more like a dragon ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These were one ninety nine, so that works out as 50p each, which I think is really good. Um, the guinea pigs love jingly toys, so hopefully they love those. And they're glow in the dark. <laughs> they're glow in the dark. Nothing beats glow in the dark. Um, so that's everything that we got from Zoo Plus and Vet UK. Uh, I really advise checking them both out. They're both really good value. They have lots of good deals on. And I think Vet UK is starting to take over as my favourite website. So if there's anything you'd like us to review or if you have any requests about any of the items then please feel free to let us know in the comments if you liked this hit the like button if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe and thanks for watching thanks bye now